The warm up in weightlifting specifically has a very important purpose. We're going to break down every single movement, whether it's the clean or the snatch, into smaller movements so that it's easier to practice and learn and perform the whole movement. These smaller movements will essentially help you understand feet position, grip, starting and ending position, path of the bar, and where to just let it flow. So let's start with the warm up for the clean. First small movement is the dip and stand. The dip is basically one eighth of a squat. The knees are bent slightly, the hips completely open, the chest upright and the elbows are completely locked out. The dip and stand is basically the starting position from the dip position and standing up upright with the glutes squeezed and knees locked. Once you have done the dip and stand, the next move is the pull or the shrug. Come up on your toes, squeezing your glutes. This helps in balancing on the toes. Drive your shoulders up towards your ears and keep those elbows locked out. The third movement is the dip and high pull. Pull the bar up till the chest, making sure the elbows travel up and away from each other. The glutes remain squeezed and you need to be up on your toes, leaning slightly behind. Next comes the muscle clean. This movement is done slowly and as smoothly as possible to memorize the path of the bar in relation to the body and the movement of the arms around the bar so that it doesn't look like a bicep curl. Once the bar reaches the chest, move your arms around the bar to end up in the front rack position of the front squat. For the front squat, you can refer to the powerlifting tutorials on the SF Health Tech page. After the front squat, now we move on to the high hang power clean. High hang or the dip position, as we all have just read, is the pocket position, also the position from where the bar starts. Power clean is a movement done to work on the power to pull the bar up into the final position without falling into a front squat. This movement is the same as a high hang power clean. The only difference in this movement is now the bar starts from halfway down the thighs. The next movement is the power clean from below the knees. Once again, the movement stays the same. Only thing changes over here is the starting position of the bar, which is just below the knees. That was a good start. Remember, the sole motive of these tutorials is to become comfortable with the weights. I would personally suggest that you keep doing these movements every single session before you actually start lifting. Once again, either use a PVC pipe or an empty barbell depending upon your capability and your strength. Stay tuned for more regular updates. And in the meanwhile, don't forget to share your post and your stories on our social media. Remember to hashtag Shivoham Speaks and also tag SF Health Tech and myself and let us know about your progress. Until next time, lift well and lift strong.